Freedom. When you hear the word freedom, what does that mean for you? How do you define freedom? How do you see your life being lived with freedom? Often when I ask people what that word means for them, they say it's to do whatever I want, whenever I want, with no one telling me what to do. I get to choose. And the truth of the matter is we're always choosing. We're free to quit a job that we don't like. If somebody's bossing us around or there's you know, that restrictive manager, you actually are at choice and free. And you actually are free to do whatever you want whenever you want, but there may be some consequences to that if you've made a commitment somewhere else to show up, share your gifts, and then reciprocity be paid for it. But the freedom that I want to talk about today is the freedom of our thoughts. I mean, we are free in every moment to choose our thoughts, to choose our point of awareness, to choose whether we want to respond or to allow the reaction just to let loose, often with consequences for ourselves and others. Freedom from thought is not freedom from thought. We're always going to have thoughts. We probably have over 60,000 thoughts a day. Most of the thoughts we're not aware of. It's running in our subconscious. And where the freedom comes is the ability to one presence what's happening in the moment. So is this pleasant or unpleasant? The sensation that I'm experiencing. Your senses, your five senses, you know, your, through your eyes, your ears, your nose, taste, touch, receives information, receives data actually. And from that data, it creates information, which then creates this feeling tone that we experience. Freedom is being aware of that in the moment to notice whenever I'm feeling something that feels unpleasant and I have the ability to choose a response, a reaction to move or to stay. And the freedom with our thoughts is to then to be able to consciously choose thoughts that are in alignment with how we want to live our life, which is why mantras and affirmations are powerful. Not only are you regrooving your subconscious, so think of the subconscious this way. You've got a bowling ball, there's this, this hill and it's has high grass and you're rolling the bowling ball, all right? And the more you roll the bowling ball from the top to the bottom, you create a pathway, you create a groove. So we're creating these grooves into our prefrontal cortex, that part of our brain for executive function, making responsible decisions. But on a spiritual level, we are literally, literally like, like shifting from those thoughts that we gain from our childhood, from the race consciousness, from our DNA, from our ancestors, and literally regrooving, creating a new pattern in our subconscious with thoughts that are more life affirming. I love challenges. Challenges make me grow. I am a powerful teacher. I am kind. I'm curious. Curiosity expands my perception. Whatever works for you. But freedom is to choose the thoughts in the moment when you have an unpleasant sensation and instead of having a reaction that causes yourself harm or somebody else harm, you get to choose. Do I stay? Do I move away? And to allow that energy to metabolize, meaning to move through the emotion that arises from the feeling tone, the sensation, to allow that to move through. So freedom of thoughts isn't freedom from having thoughts. We're always going to have thoughts. We're in this body temple. We've got a brain. We've got our senses. It's always taken in data. It's just data. That's all that it is. It's really all impersonal until we're engaging with something or someone. So if my eyes don't have anything to see, I'm not going to see anything. If my eyes don't have anything to receive as far as hearing, I'm not going to hear anything. We're dependent on each other, dependent origination, as they say. So today, I invite you to just notice your thoughts. One of the great things is to actually write, do a five minute writing practice, and just, you can use the prompt, I remember. And with that prompt, just see what arrives. Actually, 10 minutes is the best uh, time for just like freehand writing nonstop. I remember, and just see what thoughts arise. Don't judge it, don't do spell check, don't try to correct it, don't try to be grammatically correct, just allow the flow of thoughts. And then go back and read it and just notice. 
notice. Normally I don't read it for a long time, but for this practice, just notice your thoughts. When you move about the day, notice what thoughts are persistent. What's the, the feeling tone? Are they heavy and dense, critical? Are they life affirming? They invite you into a new way of being and seeing, or they become a place of strength in the moment. So freedom of thoughts, freedom to be present to our thoughts, freedom to choose our thoughts, freedom in every moment to live the life we truly desire and deserve. And then freedom to be kind and loving so we don't allow shame and blame to arise, especially towards ourselves. Oftentimes in coaching sessions, people will come in with an issue, but then they start bringing in, I'm a failure, I'm this. So there's so many levels of, of revealing truth, which is what we call healing for them. They are revealing the truth to themselves to unravel those patterns, those thought patterns, and to have the freedom in the moment to create a new belief, which will create a new habit. So freedom, what do you choose today? What do you choose? Freedom or bondage, you choose. We are bound by limitations if we give them that power, but they hold no power over us the moment we are aware of it. So I choose freedom, moment to moment awareness. And when there's difficult emotions, I allow them to be there, to arise, to move through, and to see if there's any wisdom that arrives with that. But to pause and breathe. So then I can allow myself to experience it, but then respond. Freedom. Share below your thoughts, your experiences on freedom. So notice your thoughts. Do a 10 minute writing practice. I remember, do it every day. Just see what comes out. Are there any patterns that you already notice? Whose voice is that anyhow? Forgive them. They learned from somebody else. And then choose to be free in the moment so you can live the life that you desire and deserve. Freedom. <laughs>